Yes mate, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. Needless to say, this week or so, it's been a bit of a manic week for football. Man City have been knocked out of the U UEFA Champions League, nothing new there, and possibly the biggest bit of transfer news ever. Before we do actually crack on with that, if you are new, make sure to hit that big red subscribe button and turn on post notifications as well, it would mean so much to me, help the channel grow and also drop a like as well, 15 likes and I'll try and upload another transfer video as quickly as possible possible but before we do actually get into that massive bit of transfer news we're going to go ahead and have a look at what went wrong for man city in the uefa champions league of course we got knocked out by leon 3-1 for those of you who don't know for those of you who have been living under a rock i mean it's been mean to absolute death particularly sterling's miss i am still i'm still not over that this is his best scoring season and he goes does that like what what the f and the potential after this, this has all been sort of stirred up and that is possibly Pep Guardiola potentially leaving. Well I say potentially, Barcelona are monitoring Guardiola's situation at Man City, that was posted by OneFootball and it says there that Barca's board will meet on Monday, so today, when they are expected to sack their head coach, there he is gone, he is done and dusted after a disastrous thrashing at Bayern Munich, 8-2 eight, eight, loss. That is just ridiculous. A2, like by Munich, they're most likely going ahead to win the whole competition themselves. So there, it seems as though they've been linking heavily with Guardiola. Saying that, they've also potentially been linking heavily with Maurizio Pochettino. Whether or not he will go to Barcelona, Maurizio, we don't actually know Guardiola. I hate to I hate to say it, but it could possibly happen. I mean, just going into this game, okay. First of all, the lineup. Just look at the lineup here. It's just gonna be brief. Like what? What even is what? What? Why are we playing such a defensive-minded? Like uh, when we were last went up against Leon in the group stages, this is kind of understandable why we went with a mo more defensive-minded. But we will be caught out so many times, and we were by three goals. Like playing that um, that midfield, pretty much no threat in my opinion. Rodri, Gundogan, and Fernandinho. No attacking prowess, probably Gundogan on a good day, but no one, Fernandinho, has lost his legs and probably losing his marbles at this rate. I'll tell you what I am, let me tell you that. Playing Kevin De Bruyne on the right wing, like he is not a right winger, it's just, it makes zero sense. Like, he is the heart of our midfield and the heart of our team. He is the one who drives players, drives players forward, he makes those incredible passes, and to play him out on the right wing is just stupid. It's just, it just makes zero sense. It's like having a car with perfectly normal wheels and then replacing them with just square blocks. It might work, it might do something effective, but it might get you from A to B, which it, it sort of did with, with um, Kevin De Bruyne, who did go ahead and score, but in the long run, it's never a good option, is it? In this game, we just found out once again with our high line of play and we were just caught by it so many times and like with many other teams like Leon did against Juventus like Arsenal and Southampton did against us they score then park the bus it's just as simple as that it's just perfect tactic I hate to say but it's a perfect tactic to find out Man City and Pep Guardiola and it doesn't particularly help that Guardiola changes tactics three days prior to this match that literally makes no sense that's like training up a team of chefs to learn this one one menu which is all I find on whatever then completely changing it around and saying okay we want you to do pub food we're going to change it up just three days prior you've learned like this 50 or so item menu let's just change it up last minute it's never going to work mate it it will never work and it's just stupid however Despite all this, Guardiola has come out and assured fans that we'll be back next season. Why do I feel as though I've heard that too many times? <laughs> he goes on to say, I'm not able with these incredible guys to break this line and reach quarterfinals. Three years in a row in that position, we were out. What these guys have done, they deserve to go through to the semi-finals, but we are not able to. Life is how you stand up again. And next season, we're going to try again. I hope we do. And I hope like we just break through to the semi-finals. Because, I mean, we beat... It's, we're just going on the back of beating the greatest team in the Champions League history. Real Madrid beating them 4-2 on aggregate. And for this to happen, it's just... It's sort of expected, but at the same time, it's just hugely disappointing. And there's moments where, like, the controversy of, like, the um, uh, the through ball that was meant for Carl Icambi, I believe it was. Went through the legs to Dumbele. It was a well worth goal, I can't deny it. Saying that, the slight incident with Imeric Laporte, I mean, in my personal opinion, it should have just been taken back. VAR should have done so much better. Well, not so much better, but it's just it just is what it is. I mean, 
Yes, we lost. I'm quite frustrated with that, but at the same time, I'm going to take this on the chin. Because if we were to go progress and go ahead against Bayern Munich, they would have brought not just goals, they would have brought Pig and Lube as well. We would not have stood sort a of chance against them. I mean, they beat Barcelona A2. What would they have done to us? I've said it before on another video, I don't know when, but I'm fairly confident. Well, I'm not fairly confident, but I just have that feeling I'll never see us win the Champions League in my lifetime. It's just like, we could like spend all we want or whatever, but I mean, Guardiola, he is a fantastic manager. He has changed the game immensely in just in the Premier League. Like Champions League or whatever, whatever will happen, I'm in sincere doubt about that. So anyway, we're going to move on next to the biggest bit of transfer news. Which has been like, it's sort of been elongated a little bit with Lionel Messi being linked with Manchester City ever since Guardiola came <coughs> to the club four years ago. However, that is a big however. All you have to literally do is go onto Google and type in Lionel Messi and there will be article after article. The Guardian, The Mirror, Daily Mail, Transfer Market, The Metro, Sport Bible. There's even this site called Everything Barcelona that is saying that Lionel Messi wants to leave the club. And it's not only that, some have even said that he is determined to leave the club after their humiliating exit by Bayern by, by Munich. One of these reports in fact was done by a reporter called Marcelo Belka. Belka B. Betchler. Don't particularly know how to pronounce his name. My pronunciation is terrible. I think he's Brazilian, but this is the same man who reported saying that Neymar would go to PSG. So, this one with Lionel Messi, I'm just going to say, before we do actually get into too many reports, in my opinion, yes, I would love Lionel Messi to come to Manchester City, even at the age of 33. Like, he would change it just tremendously like we could win back-to-back -back titles once again just get back to our winning ways of winning major titles i mean we did win two bits of silverware this season which i will take but like he would just change it completely he's you're guaranteed 20 goals and assists a season with Lionel messi even if he's only got like two or three years left in him possibly i mean the way he's going he could probably play until 40 like ronaldo as also as a fan as well just being neutral to this I would love to see nothing more than just see him retire at Barcelona. He's achieved so much Barcelona, won pretty much everything there is to win. So for him to retire there, it's not only written in the stars, but to be honest, it is just right for it to go ahead and happen. I mean, if if he does actually want to leave, I don't particularly see it happening in my opinion. But if it does, if it is true, if it is, if it is as gospel as this... I will happily take it, don't get me wrong, but for now I'm just taking it with a pinch of salt. It's reported actually in about February time, 7th of February here, according to One Football, that Lionel Messi has no plans to leave Barcelona despite the public spat with reporting director and club legend Eric Abidal. Like I've said, whether or not Messi will leave, I don't see it happening. He will stick with that club through thick and thin. Is he, I mean, yes, he has come out in post matches and said that we're just not the club that we used to be. Uh, we're just failing. It's just not the same anymore. He won't leave. I'm just going to say straight up with full confidence, as long as I've got air in my pig in lungs, he ain't leaving Barcelona. And according to Catalan outlet Sport, and one senior figure has reportedly warned any pursuers that his contract runs out until June 2021 with a buyout clause of £633 million. Pounds. I've heard somewhere it's like £700 million. Pounds. But I did see reported, well, I say reported, just mentioned of on a live stream by a Steam company that uh, he has a clause possibly maybe this probably isn't true that he could leave the club for free which doesn't really make any sense why put a release clause but also have it where you can leave the club for free Messi 33 which is some more reports here has grown disillusioned disillusioned with his life as his boyhood club following numerous amounts of problems behind the scenes I mean we've only seen so much with uh, the spat with Eric Abidal in February and of course the problems in the Champions League and in La Liga as well falling behind Real at Madrid. What problems is there behind the scenes? Is this something more deep with like the board of Barcelona with the management? I mean, maybe not the management now because he's been sacked. What could actually happen? We just never know. 2020 has been a bit of a mad year, so who knows? He could just come out and say, you know what? I wash my hands of this weirdness. I'm out. I'll leave you lot to decide that. If you do actually end up watching this, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, whether or not Messi will leave Barcelona. So that's where I'm going to leave it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Make sure, like I said, to hit the subscribe button and drop the video a like. So other City fans could see it would really mean a lot. 
All my social medias are in the description box down below. I do try and post daily on there. Like I said, let me know your thoughts on these two bits of transfer news. Will Guardiola leave? And will Lionel Messi leave? And will he come to Manchester City or will he go to another club altogether? Thanks for watching, but until next time, I'll see you lot in a business.